This episode is brought to you by Experian. Are you paying for subscriptions you don't use, but can't find the time or energy to cancel them? Experian could cancel unwanted subscriptions for you, saving you an average of $270 per year and plenty of time. Download the Experian app. Results will vary. Not all subscriptions are eligible. Savings are not guaranteed. Paid membership with connected payment account required. Are you ready for some high adventure? Coming up next on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance recommended. Hey, shut that door. It's freezing out there. Good observation. I am a detective, after all. You'd have to be blind and deaf and immune to sub-zero temps to not know there's a snowstorm out there, Lou. I need a shot of a little something-something. In your file cabinet, top drawer. Many thanks, Secretary O'Mine. I am not a secretary, Lou. I am an administrative assistant. Ah! What's with all this junk in here? That's part of your wardrobe. Tabitha, I want all of this stuff. Uh uh uh. That's on you. I don't fold laundry. I can't help it if I have to live in the office. You could. Don't look at me like that. All you have to do is pick up the phone and call her. Stop moving your mouth. I need some refreshment. You do realize that is some of that homemade stuff we impounded off of that guy. I know exactly what it is. It could be wood alcohol, Lou, which will make you go blind. I'm willing to take that risk. Join me? How about no? You're a loss. Well? Absolutely horrible stuff. I told you. Beggars can't be choosers. I hate to tell you, but your private eye office is beginning to stink like a pigsty. I like pigs. But not in the office. You're so picky. You have got to clean up this mess. No, I don't. Call her. Your wife. X. Not yet. I haven't seen any papers delivered for a divorce. I'm working on catching her in the act. Oh, Lou, come on. It's what I do best. But your wife? X. She is the ex, Mrs. Venice. She could. No. And we will only refer to her as X from now on. Lou. She is now X. That is my decree. Decree? Have you been doing crosswords again? No, I'm still thirsty. Ew. That is some nasty brew, let me tell you. We had a call. No, you weren't paying attention. I have some pictures to share. Of your wife? X. Right. Yeah. Sorry. X. Thank you. Here, look. You took these kind of photos of X? I did indeed. I had the camera in some bushes outside of our house. Sorry, my X house. And I just got back from getting it. You are one sad man. Who are you going to bill for this case? You are a detective after all. We have to make some money somehow. I'm the client. Uh, what? You heard me. I am the client. You can bill me. You don't have two nickels to rub together. Untrue. Very true. What money do you have on you? Let me see. Ha! You have one nickel. That's it? I'm a little short right now. What about my Christmas bonus? Surely you jest. Does this look like a face that jests? Here, have the nickel. Thanks a lot. I can pay my own self on this case. Do you even listen to what you say half the time? Only half the time. See what I did there? Please stop making attempts at humor. It makes me want to shoot something. Speaking of which... What now? I think you have an appointment at the police station to explain why you shot that guy. I did that already. They completely understood and agreed he needed to be shot. Oh, okay. Good. Now for the pics. Hmm. Fascinating. Their ex is folding the laundry in the living room, reading a book eating her dinner, and crying. Let me see that. She's crying. I said that. Why is she crying? Either she's happy that you are out of the house, or no, I think that's probably it. Tabitha? What? She's crying. X is crying. Who made her cry? I'll give you one guess. I have no idea. Can you give me a hint? His name rhymes with ew. Ew. You've got me completely stumped. And to think you're a detective, an actual private eye. You make a living at this. That's right, and you'll do good to remember that. Now, who is it that is making her cry? Whose name is on the door? 
Lou Venice, private detective. Oh. You're awfully slow. I am not the one she's crying about. Now, if she was dancing a jig and it was on my grave... You two are going to have to get back together, Lou. Oh, no, we're not. We can't continue to run the agency like this. You can't continue to live in your office. You can't continue to go two weeks without bathing. Hey, it was only a week. And only that one time. One time! That was one time too many. You can't continue to slurp nine-day-old coffee out of the pot. That's when it's getting good, though. Speaking of which... Don't you dare. That hits the spot. We can no longer run this agency out of a dump. There, I said it. Words hurt, Tabitha. I hope so. I really do. My wife, oops, ex, will not take me back. I don't want her to take me back. I like my living arrangements. Then you give me no choice. That's okay. Go ahead. Clean up my office for me. Not that. Not in this lifetime or any other. I'm going to have to resign. What? No! Who will find my socks for me? You don't wear socks, Lou. See? You're falling down on the job. I'm out the door. No, wait. Who will pay all the bills around here? Find someone else. Who will take notes on cases? Call a temp agency. Okay, fine. You drive a hard bargain. I'll find someone to clean up the office. You clean it up. What about the pictures? There wasn't anything interesting to see except for the crime, which is no big deal. A good detective looks at all the evidence. You're right. Let's see what happened next. More crying. Eating ice cream. No surprise there. Ex loves ice cream. Wait a minute. Who's the clown sneaking in through the kitchen? What did you set the camera on? Ten seconds in between shots. This isn't good, Lou. The clown grabs her and they go off screen. Tabitha! What? We're on the case. Put the thing that makes it go faster on the floor. The accelerator? Stop talking Swedish to me, Tabitha, and let's go. We don't even know where to go, Lou. The clown could have taken her anywhere. We start at the scene of the crime. Wait, who's our client on this case? What? We have no time for that nonsense. You've always said, no client, no case. I'm making an exception. Should you? This is my... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Right? This is X we're talking about here. Then I guess you're the client. I am? That's right, I am. You're your own client. Well, that's weird even to say out loud. So where are we going? Who are you asking, me or the client? I think I need the detective. Okay, shoot. Where are we going? No clue. You have the camera, don't you? Yes, good call. Run through the remaining pics. See what we missed. Nice work. The client thanks you. Maybe this is a delicate time... What now? We're in a hurry. How much are we charging on this case? Why are you bring money into this? Remember? No client. Yeah, yeah. Let me confer with our client. I mean myself. So? We're working out a deal. How much? Quit trying to distract me and get this car burning some rubber. I didn't mean it literally. Pictures, Lou. The clown grabs her. It looks like they struggled. The clown hit X with a bat. What? Oh wait, it's one of those rubber clubs clowns use. X punches at the clown repeatedly. One thing you can say about X, she can hold her own. And I have the scars to prove it. Wait just a second! Show me the picture, Lou. Stop the car, now! We have to go, Anne. And I said stop the car, Tabitha. You're in my personal space. And you're pulling a fast one. What in the world are you talking about? The clown makeup is good, but it can't completely hide the scar. What scar? That one. Take a look. That's X's cousin Gabe. What are you trying to pull? Who? Me? Tabitha. It's Christmas, Lou. And you're lonely. I am not. You are. And the office is a pigsty. It stinks to high heavens all the time. You only wear your robe most days. Our business is suffering and you need your wife. I most certainly do not. And she needs you. You heard me. I talked her into concocting the fake kidnapping by the rabid clown. And X. She agreed to this. She misses you. Is this a practical joke? Where are the cameras? No cameras and no joke. Call it a Christmas gift. Tabitha? So you saw through our little scheme. I displayed my detecting prowess. Get it right. Go see her. Talk to her. Get back together with her. Move out of the office. Save my sanity. (sighs) Okay. Thank you. Merry Christmas to me. And just so you know, I'm not billing me for this case. Fine. Well, what are you waiting for? Peel out. You've been listening to Stage Struck Audio Theater's production of Lou Venice, the Uncouth Sleuth. It's a cold one out there. In the cast, as Tabitha, Tiana Padilla, and as Lou, Jeffrey Lyon. Script by Brett Jones. 
Stage Struck Audio Theater is a production of Wichita State University Theater Department. You can listen to classical and brand new audio dramas through the Mutual Audio Network. Subscribe through Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Spotify, or iHeartRadio today. There's eight different podcasts, one for each day of the week and genre, and the Mutual Audio Network broadcast feed so you don't miss a day of your favorite shows. Subscribe to Mutual Audio tonight. Good night.